Dumbo's first Christmas. One December morning, Dumbo, the flying elephant, woke up to find the circus ground strangely quiet. He stuck his head outside the tent. Where was everyone? Then Timothy Mouse appeared. It's Christmas vacation, he announced. Time to sleep late and play in the snow and get ready for the holidays. Dumbo looked puzzled. Uh, didn't, don't tell me you never heard of Christmas before, Timothy said in disbelief. Hey, fellas, he called up to the crows. Come on down here. I need your help explaining Christmas to Dumbo. The birds gathered around the elephant and began to chatter all at once. Why, Christmas packages wrapped up in shiny paper? Now, wait a minute. What about fancy holiday food? Don't forget the big tree covered in ornaments and lights. And hey, music. You can't have Christmas without carols. Now, do you understand? Timothy asked Dumbo. The elephant shook his head. He was even more confused. Hmm, Timothy said. This is going to be harder than I thought. He and the crows huddled together and quickly came up with a new plan. Dumbo, said Timothy, forget telling you about Christmas. We're going to show you. <clears throat> Timothy Mouse scampered into Dumbo's cap. Get ready for takeoff, he cried. The crows took to the sky. Dumbo flapped his ears and followed right behind them. They flew and flew until finally a magnificent skyline came into view. Welcome to New York City, Timothy announced. I can't think of a more Christmassy place, except maybe the North Pole. Timothy had grown up in New York and thought it was the best place on earth. The little mouse gave Dumbo a tour of the bustling city. He showed the elephant the most favorite place in New York first. That's Rockefeller Center, Timothy pointed as they flew out over a large tree. Below, ice skaters glided and twirled around a sparkling outdoor rink. But Dumbo couldn't take his eyes off the enormous tree covered from top to bottom in twinkly lights and pretty decorations. Timothy could tell that Dumbo was impressed. What did I tell you? The mouse asked. People here don't just deck the halls, they decorate everything. Dumbo looked at all of the people on the streets full of holiday cheer. Some carried brightly wrapped packages. Some were singing carols. Everyone was in awe at the great big tree. The sights and sounds made Dumbo feel very happy. He couldn't wait to find out more about the holiday. Timothy Mouse and Dumbo flew down Fifth Avenue where the shop windows were filled with beautiful Christmas displays. Dumbo watched the shoppers hurrying around with large bags and presents. But Timothy saw something else. Hmm, that's strange, he said. People keep leaving presents in a box in front of that store over there. Come on, let's go find out what's going on. When Dumbo swooped down close to the crowd, everyone cheered. They'd never seen a flying elephant before. Dumbo felt like he was performing in one of his shows. What are the presents for? Timothy Mouse asked a woman. It is the store's, is it the store's birthday or something? The woman chuckled and she explained that the packages were toys for children. There's just one problem, she continued. The snow has slowed down traffic, and I don't know how we're going to take all the, make all the deliveries in time. The boys and girls will be so disappointed if they don't get their Christmas presents this year. Timothy looked at Dumbo. You think of what I'm thinking, the mouse asked. Dumbo nodded enthusiastically. Lady, said Timothy, Dumbo and I will be happy to help spread a little Christmas cheer. I know the city like the back of my hand, and Dumbo here never needs to worry about stuff like traffic. You can consider those presents as good as delivered. The people on the sidewalk cheered. Thank you, Dumbo, one man said. I knew Santa had flying reindeer, but I didn't know he had a flying elephant. Shh, Timothy replied with a mischievous wink. It's supposed to be a secret. Soon, Dumbo was given a sack of presents and a long list of names and addresses. Ho, 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 Timothy called out as he and Dumbo flew off. The pair arrived at the first stop. Through the window, they could see children hanging stockings over the fireplace. When they saw Dumbo and Timothy Mouse, they shouted with joy. Timothy handed each child a brightly wrapped present. Thank you, the children cried as Dumbo and Timothy flew away. And Merry Christmas! 
Dumbo and Timothy flew from one house to another. They dropped off dolls and dump trucks and books and building blocks, puppets and puzzles. Every once in a while, the crows took a break from sightseeing to pitch in and sing some Christmas music. They were the funniest carolers kids had ever seen. Timothy's favorite part was watching the children and their parents when they spy, spied Dumbo outside their window. They'd blink rub, and rub their eyes, wondering if what they were seeing could possibly be real. What's the matter? Timothy would say playfully. Haven't you ever seen a flying elephant before? Then he'd laugh. But what Dumbo loved most was the way the children's faces lit up when he gave them their presents. It made him feel happy right down to his toes. Well, come back and visit anytime soon, Dumbo, said Timothy, as they headed for home. I promise. Back at the circus grounds, Timothy and Dumbo settled down for the night. So, Dumbo, Timothy asked, how do you know what Christmas is all about? Now do you know what Christmas is all about? Dumbo wasn't listening, though he was thinking of all the children he had met that day. Now he and Timothy had made them all smile. It had been the first Christmas, the perfect first Christmas. Seeing Dumbo's happy expression, Timothy said, Yep, I think you do. The two tired friends fell fast asleep. That night, for the first time ever, Dumbo's dreams and his heart were filled with the magic of Christmas. The end.